Okay, welcome back. And back to school time is right around the corner, and that calls for a lot of preparation. And since packing a healthy lunch for your kids is not always an easy task, here are some nutritious twists on popular classic lunches. TV host, chef, author, and mom Daphne Oz joins us now. Hi. Hi, Gordon. Good to so, see nice you to again. See you too. I'm excited about this. Um, you look like a trillion dollars, oh, wow. as always. Um, so the kids now, you've got how, how many kids? I can't keep track. Yeah, uh, <laughs> three. Three. And yeah. Are you are you preparing their lunches for school? This is my first year getting. So a lot of people are like, oh, school lunch. I've been there, done that. This is my first year getting to do it for our oldest, who's four. So it's gonna. It's exciting. I'm, my mother I'm would in do it. little Deb would do two sandwiches and little Debbie Swiss rolls. Oh my That's gosh. That's how. You know what? I swear you were rich. <laughs> Two Swiss rolls. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So wait. Now, a lot of schools, I should prepare you. Uh, there, there are nut allergies. There's a lot exactly. of different allergies. So how do we? You make it good, I mean, nutritious, yeah. healthy school yeah. lunch that doesn't involve peanut butter. No, I've been doing my research on that. I mean, look, like a peanut butter jelly, I know in your family especially, oh this is God. a it thing is sacrosanct. Yeah. we eat in bed, yep. apparently. We have, on a regular. We have, it's, a, it's a freaky Saturday night for us. That sounds <laughs> sexy, baby. Yeah, that's um. all we have left. You'll see, it's all ahead of it's you. Coming. 20 years from now, you'll be in peanut butter and jelly land, too. We're having our eight-year anniversary this year, so oh, maybe I'll introduce peanut butter mm. in bed. You never know. Yeah, 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 so right. we have the white, the white bread peanut butter this jelly. The traditional. That's the traditional. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little ho hum. People have seen it a lot before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to suggest a way to do it that is a little bit healthier with the bread. So we're going to use a whole grain um, cinnamon raisin here. So still a ton of flavor. So yummy. Kind of fun and yeah. yummy. A little bit of sweetness also. We know kids love that. Then we're going to use this sunflower butter, which Kelly, you were looking at before. Sunflower yeah, I've butter. never seen this so before. Check this so is out. it lower in fat? It's not that much lower in fat, but it doesn't have the same inflammation qualities that peanut butter can have. Yes, and it's not right. the allergy, right? It's made from seeds. Mm -hmm. So some kids have seed allergies, but not as much as the peanut allergy everyone's worried about. So this is a great way to introduce a new kind of butter. You can make it at home. It's super inexpensive just to buy bulk sunflower seeds mm. and grind them up in a food processor. Wow. Throw some flax seeds in there for a little boost also. And then do we add... Stick to your so tongue here's just the like deal. peanut butter. This okay. is, now I'm going to add a little bit of raisins right on top. And this, again, gives you some sweetness. You can control the sugar this way too. Because jam, you know, you can pack it with so much sugar. This is a great way. And a this little piece of honey on top. Sometimes, though, Ooh. raisins freak kids out. You think so? My yeah. kids are obsessed with raisins. I mean, I know certain kids that are totally freaked out by raisins. So that's that, why you really? cover it up with extra toast. Right, right, just, exactly. Just put it right extra on top. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Tell mm, kids they great. can't open it up. They just cover it right, right up. Mm -hmm. That looks better to me than the original anyway. Okay, take really. a bite. Take a whole bite out of that. Go ahead. Jump. Go ahead. Come on. All right, right, do it. Come on. Uh, I like it. Hey, guys, Daphne, guess what? You like? That's delicious. That's delicious. Good. You guys should make that mm. right now. So that's a little good. sunflower butter mm. brings the brings mm. the flour mm. around. Okay. Mm. How about some ham and cheese? Follow that up. Right? Everyone's had this ham and cheese sandwich in their lunch. I'm bored. Uh, I'm bored. Bored. So Conventional. Bored. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a quesadilla, mm -hmm. ham and cheese quesadilla oh, I love instead. Quesadillas. But here's the other trick. A lot of parents will have paleo um, quesadilla or tortilla wraps like this in their cupboards for themselves. There's no reason to get your kids on board. There's every Start reason early. to get your kids on board. Yeah. Um, Do people have paleo no. whatever yes, this it's is? All the rage. I don't, I don't really? even know what that it means, is. but. It, no. oh, What's it, it made out of? So What's it made? these are actually made out of almond flour. So oh, they're, okay. they're, yeah, and you can get them out of cassava flour if you're not eating nuts or something. And it's a way to get them off of all the white wheat mm -hmm, and all the rest mm -hmm. of it. So What's I have What's cassava? Some... Is that that thing that Shana knew about that that's we that's, didn't know about? That's that stuff we're supposed to put on our skin. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a, it's, it's like Shana, a... his, his girlfriend knows about food Sh like mm -hmm. you do, like all oh, healthy alternatives. All kinds of little tricks. She knows yeah. substitutions. Hard to talk with the sunflower. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know anything. Get a little, get a little milk to wash that down. Mm -hmm. So I put mm -hmm. some uh, low moisture mozzarella. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put my uh, quesadilla topping right there, my tortilla on right mm. on top, and oh, then yeah. weight it down. Yeah. And check this out. I've got one done for you right here. Mm. That's here. Golden brown. Just toast that up. Mm. Oh, are you okay with the knife, Ryan? Am I okay? This is the only thing I know how to do in a kitchen. <laughs> All right, you get to it. He's got amazing knife skills. And here's one little trick. If you're sending warm sandwiches to lunch with the kids, yeah. let it cool a little bit, then wrap it in tin foil, and you can tuck it in a thermos, and it'll stay warm so that it's nice and ready for them when they have lunch, a hot lunch. I Ryan, you told me you were good with a knife. <laughs> I do that. Can it's I hot. One of these too? Thank you, thank you. It's hot. And they get really crisp, this little bit. I love the almond tortilla. because It gets crispier than a regular. Mm. Okay, what's mm. next? Oh, we're going to do this after this? All right, Take a quick break. We'll come right back with more snacks, healthy stuff for lunch. Oh, healthy lunch snacks for the kids. All right, what's next? I can't she's, never seen, she's never seen two people eat this. We're artists right here. I love it. You just, you're really excited about the food, which I'm we thrilled about. We are really excited. Mm -hmm.
So chicken salad, everyone has it, their little chicken salad wrap that they get and take to lunch. You want to just throw that? Oh, yeah, thank it's you. burning. Thank you, we'll thank you. So here's a quick take to make it a little bit more fun and exciting, maybe a little older child. I took some rotisserie chicken, great to use up leftovers. Mm -hmm. We always have this around our house. And all you're gonna do is, you can either make it ahead of time or even more fun for the kids, is you separate it out. So you have the ground rotisserie, or chopped up rotisserie chicken. I put a little squeeze of mayo right underneath that. Mm -hmm. Then I chop up some uh, apples, celery, mm. a little bit of onion, and a little bit of celery, salt, and pepper. Uh -huh. And I put that in a separate container. So all they have to do once they get this is lunch assemble at school, it. Toss it in and mix it all yeah, up. Yeah, because and that salad. would it, my son would be freaked out if he didn't have it like that. This they can yes, see everything going right. into it, nothing mm -hmm. gets soggy. And then mm -hmm. I serve it with some healthy crackers or some sliced cucumber wedges. Want to make oh it all now. Kids okay. like to be able to dip and assemble. Yeah, they do. Fun. What's, What's this? this? Okay, I'm gonna give you my secret right here. Okay, these are my meatballs that I sneak all kinds of vegetables and beans into it. And my kids don't even know and they you eat it. You sneak help into your I, meatballs? I wanna hear from all of you that do this at home and tell me how much your kids like it. They don't even know. So here's the deal. I'm gonna, I use pinto beans, a little sauteed mm. onion, garlic. Mm. I do a little cumin and oregano, but you can skip those if you guys don't like spices. Okay. A little salt, saute that up just uh -huh. to dry the beans out a little bit and caramelize the onions okay. so it's a little bit sweet. Mm. And you mash that all together. So grab the, grab the bowls and just dump them on in here. Okay. All the bowls, all the bowls. There you go, yeah, so that's beans, caramelized onions, uh, panko breadcrumbs. You don't want garlic, right? Yeah, sure. Oh. It's fine, it's okay. fine. You sure? It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Well, she's not gonna eat the raw mix, yeah. so we're good. Well, yeah. we might be cooking later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's fair. okay. We're hoping for dinner. oregano. Oh my gosh, you're sticking around. <laughs> Salt. Just <laughs> and then I, oh, can you crack an egg? Yeah, I can. Okay, let's Glad do she it. I know it's, me. it shocks everybody every time can I you? do it. Oh, she can. Here we go, okay. Yep. And all mix we do up. is mix this up, and here's the tricky part. You can now grate in some zucchini, which everyone has. End of August, it's like you can't get rid of the things. Oh my goodness, you guys really get into it. Oh, well, that's, I just well, the rest we of my, gave you the wrong tool, but you know. the rest of my sandwich that makes it work. Story of my life. So you mix all that, how long do you cook them? No, you're, they're gonna go eight to 12 minutes in a 350 oven. I do bite size. Again, pop them in a, a thermos so they stay warm. And then I give a little ranch dipping sauce. sauce or marinara sauce or whatever you got. You should try Unbelievable. It. Take it to lunch. Wait, can we try? Yeah, well that's the regular. Let's These try. are the, yeah. These are the fresh ones? These are the fresh ones. Mm. All of these recipes are on our website, kellyandryan.com. Daphne, thank you for coming back. Thank you.